Top of the morning to you, YouTube. Shay Elric here, bringing you a let's play of I'm Scared of Girls. Now this is done by a guy called Moga, and I got in touch with him, and he's perfectly fine with me doing this. Although he does say if I am going to play it, I should play it on normal mode because I'll miss out some things. Now I've done about 15 minutes of this game already. And the reason why you will not see those 15 minutes of gameplay is because I never recorded the frigging screen. Urgh! I recorded my voice but not the screen. <laughs> so annoying. So I'm not going to spoil anything, but I really... I don't need to hear the explanations again because I've already seen it. But it gets kind of weird and kind of complicated. So we have to go around and find these gems. These gems will then bring us to string that we have to cut. And they are a representation of our former life. And to escape that or something, we have to cut all the strings. So I'm going to kind of skip through this, read bits that I think are... Well, skim read. That's usually what I do. Standing in... I was standing in it outside without an umbrella. All my clothes, papers and everything got soaked officially. It was supposed to be a normal day, but I did something stupid. I've cross-dressed for ages. I have the body and face. What? Something about a hormone imbalance? But either way, after days of trying out clothes, I was found out. Everyone in my house freaked. I was already in trouble. But this just gave them another excuse to rip me a new one. After I slapped around by my parents, I went for a kitchen knife. They instantly called the police and I bolted. Ran upstairs, packed what I could, which happened to be the girl's clothing already in my bag, myself and a knife, and now here I am, soaked. You could probably see my boy parts of I never noticed that last time. Why didn't I notice that? So hold on, you're... You're a guy dressed up as a girl? I've still got no clue what I'm picking up there. Ah, oh, so... I'm confuzzled already. But surely your parents would have known that you were a boy from birth, unless you were adopted and then they didn't. Or they didn't know you were cross-dressing. When I was younger there was this well outside my old house in the country. It wasn't special, but one day I heard a gasp, not being as paranoid and maybe a little stupid. I walked up to it and heard it gasp again. But this time I heard a word too, son. So I talked to the well. Is there something wrong? Another gasp. Too much, huh? Too much sun. Want me to cover you up? Gasp, please. So I find a lid for this small well, dragging it with my frail legs and slamming it on top of the mouth of the well. Later that day, my father patted me on the head and said, I done good. One thing I've noticed that Moga does in this is use single words for a sentence. And that has such an impact for me. I don't know about anybody else, but single words in a sentence just portray a lot of meaning and emotion to me. So that I really enjoy. So I'm, I'm keen to see what the rest of this looks like. Now, on my first go through this, I done that. And I done this and this happened. So is that you soaked or is... See, now that I notice what's happening, okay, battles. Don't have to kill the little triangles, but I have to kill the big squares. Ow. Ow. And they always freaking get me before I get them. And I have to cast, catch? Have to pick up these items here, which are rubies and obsidians. And from what I uh, figured out, uh, God damn it, already. <laughs> This is no good, you must brave the unhappy place. I really don't like this unhappy place. It makes me feel weird. So, yeah. Oh, okay, you can go further up here. Hmm. This just creeps me out. I really don't like big, blank, dark spaces. What the hell is up here? Or does this just go on forever? Oh no, there's something there. What's that? Oh, I'm back there. No, I want to stay like this. Or do I? Hmm. I'll, I'll 
pick up the ones whenever I try and get into this city. These things kind of represent battles and cities and stuff, I think, from what I can gather. So if I go colored and then, that sounds wrong. Kill the big blue boxes. Yeah. Ow. 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 Leave me alone. Uh, I need to figure out how to do that properly. I know you have to hit them from the left or the right, but I'm sure there's... Fuck! Fuck! You can't attack them from above. I'm sure there's an, an easy way or a proper way to do it. Shit. I've only got three, four health. Alright, kill the big blue boxes. I don't need to get the triangles because they don't unlock anything. But the big blue boxes unlock the door. And I think I figured out how to do it. I'm not entirely sure. But if we go and talk to these guys, our scanner show you're a prime candidate for premium services. What? You'll find it soon enough. Talk to our squad leaker. She's in a bulky suit. Where the hell is the bulky suit? <gasps> Health. Yes. So we put back up. Yeah. I'll explain what they're saying because there's no really any point in me reading it again after I've read this. Another rainy day, this high school's roof is busted, it always leaks. I'm so tired of that. Teacher made me beside this girl with bright blue uniform and a or like bright blue hair and a standard uniform. She smiled and she said to me, You rained out, huh? She didn't have too annoying of a voice. It squeaked a little. Uh yeah. Curtly replying and then promptly returning to whatever I was doing. Probably nothing at that point. Not talkative, I got an idea. She ripped a sheet of paper out and scribbled something on it. A couple of digits and a web address. Check this out, we can probably chat more there. Want to hang out after school instead? I never did check out that address because I didn't have a computer. That's how I met Angelica. Now I never know how to pronounce that because people pronounce it differently like Angelica or Angelica and I really want to know what you guys do. What the hell is that box because it wasn't explained. Bet you I have to find out later on. Okay, so if we go back here and we go to the other red gem that was in that town and I will try and see if my hypothesis is correct. It is! Ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Leave me alone, triangles. I've only got three health. I'm gonna die and go back to that city, aren't I? Ow, ow, ow. Yep, there we go. Okay, well, went all the way up, and I'm grey again. This guy's a bit weird. Hey, come on in. We're pretty chill here. Don't you usually try and devour me? For one, that's the top level crazy who the television guy pays. And two, they're just trying to extract your life force slowly and preferably through semen. What? What? Yeah. I wouldn't. Ah. 